Good afternoon. This is Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media and the leader for the Embedded Computing Division of the company. I'm here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With, and this week I have the pleasure of speaking with Dirk Finstel, who is the General Manager of AD Link's module segment. Good morning, or in your case, good afternoon, Dirk. Yeah, good. Good morning, right, Rich. Um, very pleased, right, uh, to attend this interview today to speak about uh, PicMG, right, Com0 Release 3.0, also known as Type 7. Okay, so let's talk about that specifically. Um, the obvious question for me, and probably for a lot of people, is that why did we need a new pinout uh, definition in this specification? It was working just fine before. Yeah, I think uh, maybe I, I need to talk a little bit of the history of, of ComExpress. Um, as m most of the people familiar with the ComExpress specification, we have not been able to put Xeon class processors in the interface uh, on ComExpress due to you know power wattage and uh, lack of pin uh, definitions. And when Intel right, announced uh, a Xeon class processor right, in a 65 watt and less range, it was very obvious that we need a new pinout to support all those interfaces like 10 gig E and more PCIe lanes. Uh, for example, PCIe by 16 is implemented on type 6, but we need significantly more to address right, the bandwidth needs uh, in those verticals we try right, to get in. So when you say verticals, what specifically are you referring to? Are there particular applications that are going to benefit from this? Uh, yes, in the past, I think ComExpress has not been used in, you know, telco network infrastructure or high performance, you know, for example, military, uh, due to the fact that the form factor, right, did not provide the performance and the interfaces, uh, those verticals required. With uh, Xeon class processors and up to four times 10 gig interfaces and up to 32 PCIe lanes, we can exactly address those requirements from the telco and network infrastructure, providing the highest bandwidth and performance in those verticals. So what does this put you up against? What um, will you be competing against with, with this new spec? Yeah, for sure. I think there are you know, legacy form factors like ATCA, we are still, I think, are dominant in, in telco and network, but it's quite expensive, and you can, uh, don't see right, if, uh, a lot of technology upgrades here. So from that perspective, we sure will play against ATCA. Uh, also, I think the biggest I think, uh, technology we are playing against is what we call the proprietary form factor, so specific SPC uh, implementations for cost or mechanical reasons, ComExpress will give exactly right, this flavor and the flexibility to change modules on an annual cadence to provide latest technology much, much faster. Uh, the modularization, right, especially, will absolutely fit into this uh, vector right, very, very well. Okay. Now, what about with respect to backward compatibility with, with existing uh, PicMG? Yes, for sure. I think this was a major effort. Uh, as you know, ComExpress always uh, uh, had a look on, the, on this backwards compatibility. So uh, it's backwards compatible to type 6. So even if you plug it in, it will not harm. Uh, for sure, we replaced the display interfaces with the 10 gig, um, I think, Ethernet uh, pinouts. Um, so you can use a type 6 you know, carrier board to some extent, but for sure you lose display functionalities. And if you have not routed the interfaces right, for sure, I think it will not right, function correctly. But most of the interfaces, if we talk about percentages, 60% of the pinout is still the same, and 40% has changed. Okay. So where are we in the timeline? When can users expect to see products based on the new spec? Well, actually, we can provide products right now as samples. Uh, PicMG, I think, will have a public release, I think, next week or latest in two weeks from now. The pinout has been frozen a couple of weeks ago. Um, as AD-Link has um, basically led those efforts for many, many months uh, to bring all our competitors right to this committee. You know, Jeff Munch, our CDO, uh, is chairman of PicMG, uh, brought all those things together. 
so we are ready to sample. We have our carrier boards. You know, we have a broad world DE, right, Type 7 product available. And when do you expect to be in, in full production? Um, full production, I think, is scheduled for end of the year. Okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's awesome. Um, I think our readers, design engineers, would be looking forward to that. So that was yes. Dirk Finstel. Yeah. He is the general manager of AD Link's module segment, and I am Rich Nass with Open Systems Media, and that was this week's 5 Minutes With. Thank you very much, Dirk. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.